Misha Sempira of Binanata village in Chitumba ward in Fort Portal City recalls the pain she felt on learning that her son James Huntington Muyomba had been caught up in the crisis and was among those burned in the attack. I was here. Then I heard that Uganda Technical College Kichwamba had been burnt. Later my fears were confirmed that my son had died in the fire. She adds that most of those who lost their loved ones in the massacre have never been compensated by government 24 years later. Those who get problems such as shops getting burnt are usually helped. After 24 years, why have we never been compensated? Mrs. Joyce Kabalodi, whose son was killed in the bush, still feels the pain after escapees narrated how her son was killed in the bush after he had been abducted by ADF rebels when they attacked the college. She wants government to recognize the event. My son was shot and later beheaded. To this day, it makes me sad just thinking about how he died. Why has the government refused to assist us? James Brorero, who escaped from the bush hideout where he had been held by the ADF after six months, is one of the few survivors. About eight of those kids rushed to, to slaughter him. It took long to, to, for him to be slaughtered because this one did not know what to do as we were watching. So when Kijara saw what was happening with the other one, with him I think he fainted and died before even he was slaughtered. However, some survivors are also unhappy that the government's promises of compensation have never come to pass, although the president visited the school and promised to take action. It sounds too bad for a parent losing a child and the, the government is promising now and then with no respondents. The Kichwamba community are shocked that the ADF is still alive and well battling the UPDF in the jungles of the Democratic Republic of Congo.